Good morning, everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. My name's Kalea Taylor. Welcome to the very first Database as a Service Dev Day. I'm so happy to have you all here. I'm waiting for my um, co-speaker to come, Veronica. I'm sure she's on her way. Um, I know I'm loud regardless, but can you hear me in the back? Hi, Veronica. <laughs> um, so Veronica and I are going to welcome you all to today's event. Um, each speaker, when you come up, just to let you all know if you're here in the room, you are going to hook up your own device and be able to do the pre presentation directly from your own um, computer. There's an adapter here for a Mac if you have it. And then there's a hard line here for you to be able to hook up to internet if you need it for like, I don't know, a demo or something like that. Okay? So welcome. The chairs for the DBAS Dev Day is myself and Ed. Ed can give a little wave. <laughs> Ed's in the front right there. Um, and I do want to go over the code of conduct for our co-located events. The code of conduct is be nice. If you have to think about it, don't say it. <laughs> Just be nice to everybody and we all can get along well. If you want to see it, you can go ahead and scan uh, the QR code there. Okay, just to let you know the agenda for today, we are a half day co-located event. So we're gonna go from 9 a.m. to about 12.45 p.m. Um, around that time, there is going to be a small coffee break around, I believe, 10, 10.50 um, is the coffee break. So we're going to have back-to-back -back, um, sessions going. You will have access to refreshments and lunch. Um, this is the standard slide that we have to tell everyone for all the events. So right outside, you'll have access to the different lunch and different little snacks that they have. And there's also an evening um, reception at 5.30. And you have cards behind your little badge to attend that. OK, um, also to let you guys know that the call for papers for Paris is now open. Uh, you have until March 19th to Wait, it's not until March 19th, excuse me. You have until January, I believe, to get your call for papers in. November. Look, I should have read this one first, sorry. <laughs> I didn't read it. <laughs> Sunday, December 3rd, get your call for the papers in, like submit by that time for the um, KubeCon Europe in March. And then we have captioning and translations if you need it. There's a QR code here to allow you to be able to access that. Lastly, we have a Slack channel. On the Slack channel, um, we want to engage the community further. Remember, this is a brand new co-located event. Database as a service is still in its infancy. And we like to grow the community, community organically. So it would be great if you guys would connect on the Slack channel under CNCF. Um, and it's the Database as a Service channel. Hello, good morning. Um, <laughs> thank you for being here. Um, well, uh, you've met Kalea, and this is me. I'm Veronica Lopez. Uh, I'm an engineer at PlanetScale, and I also serve as a co-tech lead for the Kubernetes release team. And well, welcome to the first edition of Database as a Service Day. We're very excited to have all of you here. I honestly was expecting like half of the attendance this morning, so this is great. So just wanted to reflect uh, on a couple of ideas. Um, I guess that if you're here, you're, you might be working professionally on the DBAS uh, space, but well, in case you aren't, uh, in its essence, database as a service makes it easier for businesses and developers to access and manage their data. Um, this means that ideally, uh, users 
will need any any help um, underlying, with the underlying infrastructure, the hardware provisioning, among other management tasks. Um, obviously, this sounds way easier than it's done. And a very specific problem that we have in this space is getting to reconcile the stateful nature of databases with the stateless nature of tools such as Kubernetes. Um, I will use Kubernetes um, as uh, the, the placeholder, placeholder sorry, for any other cloud native tools, but I hope you get it. So, as I love to say, creativity loves constraints. Uh, so, tools that were originally designed for applications, cloud native applications, are now adapting to accommodate databases. And from my experience, both at PlantScale and at Kubernetes, uh, I have seen that this is a specific spot in modern computing that consistently pushes the envelope on all fronts. Um, from requirements to cloud providers to innovative problem solving, <laughs> such as um, reimagining or even reintroducing what best practices means, uh, up to challenging the Kubernetes API sometimes. <laughs> Um, and all of this while emphasizing on security and, of course, uh, trying to build all of this with uh, uh, the lowest cost possible. So, yeah, not a challenge at all. So, this is why events such as Databases Service Day are critical for the community. They bring us together to discuss deep technical issues and hopefully their solutions. So thank you so much for being part of this inaugural DBAS uh, day, as the way you pronounce it. <laughs> and yeah, we're very happy to be here. And Kalea, uh, thank you so much for introducing uh, all, all the information that, that all the folks here I see that people are still coming, so that makes me very happy. And yeah, don't hesitate to reach out to us either in person or in the Slack channel. And yeah, does anyone have any questions? I don't think so.